Well, obviously a unique team, uh, blessed with gifted offensive young players. That's got to have you excited. Yeah, we're uh, we're really excited about the group that we've announced today, but also the uh, the additions that are going to come later on. And uh, when we put this this team finally together uh, throughout the summer and and get working on lines and pairs, I, I think uh, the coaching staff is going to be really excited about working with them. And uh, there's a mixture of mature young players and real young players, and uh, the energy and enthusiasm that they'll bring will be a, a real asset, I think, for our hockey club. You've got uh, the uniqueness of McDavid and Eichel, two guys that have competed against each other. This is going to be a reoccurring theme for you, bringing this group together. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be an issue one bit. Um, when players put on the equipment, they put, on, put it on to win. And, um, you know, they happen to come from different countries. They're drafted by different teams. They'll always be attached like Sid and, and Ovi. But uh, when they get together, I think they're going to compete real hard. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see them uh, develop a bond or a friendship uh, that'll last for a while. And um, for our team to be successful, that's going to happen with a lot of players. But uh, that can be said for all of the countries. All right, you have a scenario in hockey where often young forwards get a chance to make an impact. It takes longer in other positions. Now, that being said, you've got a lot of young forwards. There's a guy that uh, is on your own team in Edmonton that is absent from the list that was the number one overall pick in terms of uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Uh, what sort of conversation takes place there with him? I mean, I guess he could always be added at a later date, but just maybe the explanation for why he wouldn't be in the top nine. Well, um, his injury slowed him down, obviously, and, and uh, his year in the eyes of um, the entire staff. What we have to remember, it's not just Todd and Peter that are sure. picking this team. There's a number of, uh, of staff members that throw their two cents in and, and come up with the roster. And um, when it's all said and done, uh, I know the coach quite well, and, and the coach likes players that he knows and that he can trust, and uh, Nuge is one of those guys. So I expect... Uh, I expect him to uh, to perform and uh, play real well down the stretch here when he gets healthy and, and be part of that team. But that's going to be up to him and and uh, his ability to impress the entire staff. You coach a team with so many centers. They're all seven of the nine guys. I think you pick centers. I mean, you're used to San Jose, I guess. Like yeah, we've we've moved them around. Um, I don't think any of them are going to phone uh, myself, Peter, or Stan Bowman and say, "Hey, listen, I I'm not playing on the team unless I'm in the middle." So. I think that solves uh, one of those problems right off the bat. Uh, we'll experiment. We've got three exhibition games. We'll experiment with that and practice to try and determine who fits where the best. Um, some players are going to have to swallow their egos a little bit and, and play on the wing. And um, I'd be a lot more concerned if we only had two centers and uh, you know 10 or 11 wingers. Um, I feel good about having extra centermen. And uh, we'll put it together and we'll experiment a bit. And when we get the answers, we'll, uh, we'll roll them out. It's interesting because you, you named all three goalies, <laughs> but you only named four defensemen at this time. Now, defense is another position that takes some time. Guys just want some more evaluation in terms of, you know, you've got, I guess, four locks right now with, in terms of some other deep. Yeah, with the goaltender situation, we were, um, uh, the staff was, was very convinced that uh, the three goalies that we named today were going to be the three goalies um, after reviewing their play throughout the season so it was a no-brainer to name uh, three there and save the extra spots for defense and forward. And, uh, there's a long list of young defensemen that uh, have just entered the league this year um, and uh, are uh, pure rookies and our staff is going to take uh, the rest of the season to analyze their play and to see where they'll fit in. Can a 19-year-old can lead this team or will it be the 22 and 23-year-olds? That, uh, I mean, you got two dynamic players in terms of, you know, Connor and, and Jack that are special players. Can they lead this group, or do you think do you, is that still leaving to see? Well, I, I think they can be part of the leadership group. Uh, I don't think it's fair for us to put it on, uh, on Jack or Connor individually. Um, I'm going to use the word collectively, and you've got guys like Couturier and Saad who've played in the league a lot longer. Aaron Ekblad, who's been over to World Championships. Uh, uh, those players have uh, a ton of experience in the league as well, so uh, it's going to be a group effort. Uh, the leadership's going to have to evolve as the camp goes on. Um, you don't have all season to cultivate it. Really, it's a, uh, when it's all said and done, it's a three-team tournament to get into the playoffs, and you've got to win or at least be successful point-wise in those three, three games to get where you want to go. So um, everybody's going to have to bring their A game. Everybody's going to have to show their own individual version of leadership. 
and then it's all going to have to come together real quick. Does this hammer home, though, that a team like this, that the whole NHL is getting so young now, too, and that there probably should be a team like this? Everybody, when it first came out, they said, well, just that, that's kind of Mickey Mouse. They're naming some team of guys under 24, but the NHL has got so young now, there, may, there should be a well, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a young man's league because there's some really good players. You look at Yarmir Yager and, and at his age what he's doing and uh, he's an exciting player to watch still and uh, uh, we're all proud of that. We're proud to have him in our league and there's a number of other players, Pavel Datsuk and those type of players that are, are, are a little bit older and they're very dominant and they do things right every night. So, um, But there is an availability to us of uh, a tremendous amount of talent. Um, you know, at that U24 age that uh, has made this process very interesting. Um, I know when the concept first came out and I wasn't part of it, uh, you know, you could initially think of uh, five, six, seven guys that were real dominant at that age, but when you start putting a list together, it, there's some real difficult choices that have to be, have been made and will have to be made. How many times did you look at the birth certificates and say, he's not under 24? <laughs> Well, we did that a few times, and you know, there's a few guys from other countries that are having real good uh, seasons as rookies. But uh, uh, we're going to have a good group. We're going to have an enthusiastic group. We're going to have a group that's going to uh, going to be a threat to some of the powerhouses. And uh, it's kind of nice to be the underdog, especially for the young guys. They won't feel that type of pressure to uh, to win like Canada or the U.S. is. Um, and uh, it's our job to upset, and that's what we're going there to do. Three other Oilers uh, named uh, to various teams today, Lori Korpakoski and, and then Andre Sekera. And, uh, and Leon Dreisettle, who started the year in the minors, uh, named to uh, Team Your, your thoughks on uh, those I three think players. they're all very deserving. They're going to do a, a real good job in representing their country and the roles they play. And it's one thing we haven't talked about is the, the roles that individuals have to accept when they come to the team. And um, when you look at... Uh, at our, our group, our under 24, we had a tough time trying to identify who was going to penalty kill on a consistent basis. They all play on the power play, but not all of them penalty kill. So Corpy will do that definitely for, uh, for Team Finland. I think uh, Sakara will play in, in all situations when he represents his country. And, um, you know, Leon, if he was born in the U.S. or in Canada, there's a very good chance he would have been on the 24 team as well. But uh, he'll do a great job playing for Team Europe. Um, he's proven his worth. Um, throughout the whole season and uh, is very deserving of that honor.